ball, board, oh boy, catch, good boy, get, please, good boy, the timing is so important, no, and just then I gave him the command of, uh, of the N-O, which means don't do that behavior again. Uh, the word wrong means to him that that's not the behavior I was looking for. Board. Good boy. Catch. Release. Good boy. So I click it with the behavior that I'm looking for. No! Uh, the uh, behavior that I'm looking for uh, is uh, him putting it in my hand, and as soon as he puts it in my hand, it's when I click him to let him know that that's the behavior I was looking for. No! Board. Wrong. Board. Catch. Alright, this time. Oh. Release. Oh my boy. I'm asking him to hold it and release it. So he has to do a couple of commands there before he gets to it. One is hold it. Release. Good boy. Oh. See, I won't click and treat him because he's dropping. Oh. He's looking for my hand to put it in there. Release. Out of one. Okay. All right, this time I'm going to throw it for him. Check. Ball. Pitch. Come. Release. Ball. Bitch. Wrong. I say I won't reward him because he didn't immediately bring it back to me. Ball. Bitch. Come. Release. Ah, the boy. Now you notice that when I didn't reward him for him dropping the ball down there, he immediately turned around and didn't drop it and, and brought it straight to me. So you're rewarding for correct behavior and not re and not giving any type of reward for uh, undesirable behavior. Anything, but he, has, he has to do it perfect now that he, he knows it. Ball, bitch! Come! Release. Ah, the boy. And that concludes right now for uh, teaching Jake to retrieve the hand. Uh, several techniques were used for learning theory, uh, all positively related. And uh, through shaping his behavior, uh, he is uh, do, doing quite well. He's not, he's not perfect, uh, but he will be after a, a few more trials.